Connor, I saw today the report that 500,000 civilians have been killed in this civil war. Yeah, and just the, the last three weeks in eastern Ghouta, more than a thousand people have been killed there. This is some of the heaviest fighting we've seen in the last seven years, and that says a lot because in this war in Syria... Serious war is a mess. After six years, the conflict is divided between four sides, each side with foreign backers, and those foreign backers don't even agree with each other on who they're fighting for and who they're fighting for. And now, Syria's use of chemical weapons has provoked President Donald Trump to directly attack Syrian President but today, this is a major Johnson development because up until now, the U.S. has only been focused on fighting ISIS. To understand the crisscrossing interventions and battle lines in Syria today and how it got this way, it helps to go back to the beginnings of the conflict and watch to see how it unfolded. The first shots in the war were fired in March 2011 by Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad against peaceful Arab Spring demonstrators. July, the protesters start shooting back, and some Syrian troops even called the fact that the Syrian army to join us. They call themselves the Free Syrian Army, the uprising to the uprising of the Islamic, the Trinity. Experiences are rather than the end of the war, so now that the Syrian army is going to take this time. Now, the side of the control of the U.S. and the U.S.